Hey, what's happening guys? I've got something pretty cool for you today. I got this from our friends at icstation.com. It is the future of the Arduino generation. It is the ESP 32-bit. That little chip right there, which is incredibly small. Let's bring in a... Uh, a ruler here look at that less than an inch okay all right for those of you who use science units what's that 23 and a half millimeters the ESP 32 this tiny little board Built in 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Bluetooth LE, ultra low power. It's got a 240 megahertz dual core 10 silica microcontroller, 520K of SRAM. That's really a weird number. 16 megabytes of flash, 2.3 to 3.6 volts. Built in hall sensor, cap touch, 32K crystal oscillator, three UARTs. ADC in, DAC out. This is the complete package. And I've got a breakout board for it. So you know what this means, don't you? That's right. SMD soldering. Yikes. All right, so the ESP32 dev board doesn't have an official IDE release yet for the Arduino IDE. So what we need to do is install the ESP32 cores within the Arduino IDE so we can make use of it. Now this is a little different than um, any of the other boards you're used to where you go to the board manager and you, know, you download it. So for this we need to first go to https colon slash slash get dot scm dot com slash download slash win or you know if you swing the other way slash mac and then we're just going to download it here for either your 32-bit or your 64-bit operating system and once that's done you can launch the git GUI and we're going to click on clone an existing repository for your source it's going to be https colon slash slash github.com slash expressive slash arduino dash esp32 dot get and your target directory is going to be c colon slash users slash your username you're going to fill that in here uh, slash documents slash arduino slash hardware slash expressive slash esp32 and then you're going to click clone when that's done with you're going to navigate to your arduino folder hardware expressive ESP32 and you're going to come down here to tools and you're going to double click the git application and that is going to install the necessary cores for your Arduino support once that's done you can launch the IDE and if you come over here to tools board and scroll down under ESP32 Arduino you will see all of these what we've got here is the ESP32 dev module yours could be different so choose whichever one of these you have but I have the dev module and then of course you're going to need to connect it. So I'm going to plug 
my Arduino in right now, or actually in my ESP32 in. Let me grab the cable I need. Okay, I'm going to plug it in right now. And you need to wait for any drivers to be installed. Now, every time you put in a, or you plug in your ESP32, you're going to get this message or something very similar to it in your serial port. And it's the power on reset message. So you can see all the stuff that we got going on here. And it communicates at 115, 200 baud, so be aware of that. So I'll just select our correct port. For me, it is 32. And we'll upload this sketch, which is simply a modification of the blink sketch to go blink, blink, wait, blink, blink, wait. Okay, now it's uploading, and you're going to see a little bit of a different type of message than you're used to with just a plain old Arduino here. There we go. So you can see it's using the ESP tool Python, connecting, uploading the stub, running the stub, changes the baud rate configures the flash size and then it writes the file after it's done it hard resets so let's go and take a look at the board in action all right you can see that i have installed a yellow led and a current limiting resistor on io5 and i have the ground connected so we can power it up that's, and run that sketch we just uploaded. There you have it. The ubiquitous double blink. And you notice that boot up time for this was a lot quicker than an Arduino boot up time. Now this board does have a built in LED. It has a power LED. But I wanted to show you with a big LED on here to make it show up better. Now, I didn't do any Wi-Fi stuff with this as of yet. Because this particular ESP32 module that I've got has this IPEX antenna connector. And I don't have one yet. But, rest assured, that will be coming in the future. And like I said, this is like the future of the whole Wi-Fi Arduino scene. It's an incredible little board. Um, no heat here, but um, one of my viewers, oh, Fred from Germany, tells me that he has an ESP32 board and he's running the Wi-Fi sketch that lets you blink an LED, you know, from your cell phone or whatever, and that this gets particularly hot. So that must be a function of the Wi-Fi and we'll find that out as we go along so that being said thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this I'm really excited to be playing with this ESP32 such a powerful board and I'm sure we're gonna have more projects in the future and if you guys have any ideas please let me know and we'll try and make it happen so if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to like, comment, and share. And hey, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.